So sometimes when we talk about Pure Land Buddhism to people and then people will be like, is the Pure Land just another heaven? And is Amitabha Buddha just another god? We are like worshipping this Buddha called Amitabha Buddha in order to seek rebirth to the Pure Land. Is it like sort of worshipping God in order to uh, seek rebirth to the heaven? So it's actually very very different. First of all, Buddha is not God. Buddha never said he's God. No Buddha claims that. No Buddha also says there is a single God that creates everything. If there is this God, then it's also within our Buddha nature. It's not a way for our Buddha nature. And the word Buddha actually means awakened. When we talk about the word Buddha, a lot of people think about Gautama Buddha or Sakyamuni Buddha. But the Buddha is actually a title. Buddha means the awakened one because Sakyamuni Buddha is an awakened person so we call him a Buddha and uh, Sakyamuni Buddha told us the Buddha nature is within all beings so this awakened nature is within all beings and we can all be like Buddha and in fact what Buddha wants is for all of us to become Buddhas so Buddha is not God and also Buddha's pure land is not heaven Buddha does not deny heaven, Buddha does not deny God. There are a lot of godly beings who live in the heaven. And in fact, in the Buddhist scriptures, there are a lot of detailed descriptions about the heaven, how the heaven looks like, which devas and heavenly beings actually live in the heaven. The difference between the heaven realm and the pure land is that for beings who live in the heaven, there is still a lifespan. Although they seem to live for much longer, but still there is a time when they have to die. The heaven realm is still in the cycle of reincarnation. And in the Buddhist cosmology, there are three realms in the heaven. The desire realm, the form realm, and the formless realm. And in each of these realms, there are also many different heavens. So in the desire realm, there are six heavens. And the first layer of heaven of the desire realm is called the realm of the four heavenly kings. So this is like the lowest heaven. And in this heaven, one day in this heaven equates to 50 years on earth. And for beings who live here, they could live for up to 500 years. Second level of the heaven in the desire realm is called Chayastrimsa. And in this heaven, one day in this heaven equates to a hundred years on earth and beings who live here they could live up to a thousand years according to their time and the third level of heaven in the desire realm is called the heaven of yama and one day in yama equates to 200 years on earth and beings who live here could live up to 2000 years and the fourth level of the heaven in the desire realm is called to Sita. And in this level of heaven, one day equates to 400 years on earth and it could live up to 4,000 years according to their time. So the heavenly beings, they live really for much much longer compared to us humans and uh, they do enjoy a lot of pleasures there. However, still they, there is still a time limit for where the life in the heaven will be finished. And then again, they have to reincarnate back to this lower realms. It's again impermanent because they're still being trapped in the cycle of reincarnation. They still have to die one day. The pure land is, however, not like this. The pure land is out of the system of reincarnation. It's not in this system. When we gain rebirth to the pure land, we will gain infinite life. Also, we will enjoy our ultimate bliss and there is no suffering because we will realize enlightenment really quickly there. Here, for people who ascend to the heaven, they have not realized enlightenment. They are still in the cycle of reincarnation. And that is why Buddha says, don't aspire to go to the heaven. What we need to do is to try our best to exit the cycle of reincarnation. And this practice of Amitabha recitation is the easy path offered by Amitabha Buddha to help us to exit the cycle of reincarnation, to be reborn into Amitabha Buddha's pure land.